Good morning to everybody. So I am H. Viswas, Academic Counselor of IGNU. So today again the MMPH 009, this is uh, block number 3. Uh, sorry, uh, this is block number 1, unit number 3. So now, uh, today we have to discuss the unit number 3, that is a cross-cultural uh, diversity. So today's session is very important because we have to see the different cultural uh, in different uh, other countries, what type of culture is this, and what are the business environment because the cultural diversity will affect in the business also. So, that part you have to go through this. So, initially, um, so see the structure of the uh, material, I mean, the cross culture uh, your, uh, diversity. First your introduction, then your uh, major economic and the HRM practices, what are the practices that you have to see. Then different countries, which are in Japan, United States, then your United Kingdom, and maybe the key, how many is it? Uh, and in India and lastly the China. There are see their practices, what are the what type of environment and their uh, cultural systems are this because uh, from the international HR point of view, you should know the other country's culture. Then uh, it will be very easy to adopt the things. So first of all, you see, we have to discuss about the, uh, the definition of the wide uh, purpose of this thing. Because in India, you see the most of the multinational companies are home at the most economical advanced positions. They are coming from the different uh, countries, those who are already developed. So operate in many different countries. Most of the different uh, developed countries uh, companies, they are uh, spread throughout the world. So in India, most we are developing countries. So here, most of the uh, European countries uh, and the USA and other, uh, like Japan, so a lot of other companies are, even in the German also. They are coming and they have established their uh, productions and stuff. So that way, uh, our economy is also uh, increased and uh, unemployment situations are also covered to some extent. So see, the, that's why it is a continuous uh, flow of the between the these countries because that type of uh, things are, and accordingly. Uh, the culture is also cross culturing uh, system is also there uh, because different countries' culture that you have to see. The tried uh, nationals have greater power to decide the whether to share their country's uh, strategies. Tried in the sense basically, there are uh, three countries are together that is uh, basically your uh, USA, US, and uh, Japan, and UK. Where you came back from, these three countries are. In together, we are seeing the tried countries because they are developed countries. And they are sharing their countries' strategies, what are the policies, and the practices of the host country farms. So, where they are going, that is the, their practices are they are spreading. So, academicians and the uh, practitioners they have to consider the MMC's models and source of managerial innovation because they are already innovated a lot of things they are away from the they are ahead a lot of things are they are ahead of us and they are already advanced and their um, system is also advanced so it will they are sharing their knowledges and the policies and other things and technology yes the technology also now uh, see the developed countries a developed country is the United uh, States of America, this is the US, Japan, and United Kingdom, UK. And these three developed countries we are seeing as a triad. That's the dictionary meaning three. Triad means the three. And uh, other than together, in the Chinese languages, they are basically it is a, uh, together uh, for the betterment of the. And developing countries are. Turkey, then India, uh, Middle East countries, and your China. China also 
a part of the development process. So this is the categorized by the developed and undeveloped. Uh, sorry, developed and developed. So now uh, HRM in Japan. Let us see Japan. What the way they are functioning? The Japan has a very homogeneous culture, as most people share its culture, uh, characteristics, cultural characteristics, excluding some individual and the regional uh, variations, very small natures. Otherwise, the people of Japan peoples are very uh, culturally they are very homogeneous, almost the same thing. They are the same. Thing. There is no very much differences. The solid feelings towards the groups of the communities. Characteristics the Japan society, but the Japan society are very much feelings of the community purposes. As for the Hofstede found, that is, the, he has surveyed in 1918, the Hofstede has found, he has seen, as per their study, the Japan score was 46 in individuals, on individuals. So, Vitek group say they are, in the point of his, that is, the, the score is 46. So highest point is the US uh, in 91 and the second highest is your UK that's 89 and Japan is 46. So they are all these are uh, in the top list basically the, uh, on the base of your uh, score uh, based on the studies has been done uh, on the basis of your individuals, uh, individualisms say so they are like this. So Japanese people are diligent, they are very sincere and they are very particular of these things and have a strong sense of duty or the because you know the, it is our duty you have to perform these things so they are in this case they are very diligent of these things and uh, they are performing because the success story is good in the japan cultures the characteristics of the japan's union and the management are based on the corporate culture. And the relationships are also based on the cooperation and the harmony. Because in the Japan, the unions and the management relations at par with the world class, I can say. Their our culture is very unique. They are interacting very good. The relationship is also good with the management and, and the, uh, your employees also. So another characteristic of the Japan companies are uh, ringing method of the policy because they are uh, from the ring, ring actually basically uh, if I bifurcated it, this the ring and gi in Japan a ring means the proposal from the lower levels and the gi is particularly basically they are approved the things of the senior by the supervisor and the other levels they are uh, uh, approved the these matters so it is a joint venture because, because jointly they are doing all these things there is a ringy process uh, say most of the proposal, most of the ideas, most of the, the uh, decisions are coming from the lowest. They are giving the proposals, and the seniors are. They are seeing these things, and they are approving the things and implementing these things. So this is the way. It is a participation of all. Everybody are participating in the process of decision making process. So that policy, uh, this means the best of the as on date is the best. Uh, Manajata, that is the best, best in the world. That in the Japanese language they are saying is the ring, ringy method. It means uh, ring means proposal from the both sides and D means approvals. Suggestion, uh, apart from this, there is some suggestion, uh, suggestion box is there. It is situated on the organizational premises, somewhere in the reception area or maybe in the library floor, just besides of the notice book. There are some of the suggestion books also there. It may be Floor wise, it may be one place like this. Any uh, proposals or any suggestion, ideas, everybody uh, can be dropped, the ideas drop there. And finally, the seniors are being broken out on the, through this HR, through this HR people, they have to scrutinize the things sort of like and they have to put up that uh, as a proposal that to put up to the seniors for the review for the analysis purposes. So such suggestion is also also one of the, their culture. Uh, the quality cycle, cycle uh, circle is a little gathering activities because this concept is also coming from the Japan. Uh, the workers and the employees are doing their similar work 
and lead by a manager most of the cases and maybe the every weekend or maybe during the war voluntarily they are giving their suggestions they are fire uh, they are the folks they can discuss their insight and who are everybody are in together they have to do it manager can interact with these things those are the similar work activities how to improve the things why we have not finished the target so that type of uh, discussion to improve the quality that's the uh, they are, uh, in a routine manner they have to discuss it. that is a, that's why it is called the quality surveys and this is a voluntary inclusion in the quality survey sometimes suppose i know i am the expert of this field so i have my duty not only to earn the money or do the work even in, uh, in the subordinates those who are not uh, aware of all these things to give it. so that is some some of the equilibrium conditions are created that is a good culture then management particip participates uh, practices sustain the success because they are continuing on this thing that takes a good lifetime um, most of the employees are joining and lifetime they are working there they don't need to uh, switch over to other companies which systems are based on the seniority because they are composition package uh, such that every four years or five years based on the senior seniority you will definitely will get this post and some high interest in the employees in the training also because they are giving a uh, very much uh, top priority in the training because training is required for the um, training and retraining for further development of the employees to develop their uh, knowledge and upgradations so that part is really uh, good in the japan because their technique is good uh, the technology uh, or the way they are performing the package is very good and seniority their career success path is also fixed and seniority based on seniority there, there will be no uh, ambiguities or any um, bypassing or any biasing everybody will get this promotion and the time frame within the time frames based on the seniority depending even the coalition qualifications and their experience will be noted very well noted and they are give their award accordingly so depending on the age and the educational background the workers salaries are low or and they rise gradually until they retire because it is automatic the card will be always high there, there should not be any less so that part are looking by the uh, hrm so that's why it is a, um, uh, saying the world wide the japan uh, hrm of the japan is best um, then employees see the company as a family because there are some feeling is there they are considering this the company is my family so I, as for the family what i am doing the contributions same thing they are contributing in the very sincerity and very uh, energetic way they have to perform so so that the eco uh, uh, economically active society unit they are as a social unit they are working as a social unit another the teamwork and the consensus are distinctive styles of the japanese organization culture so teamwork is very really, uh, they are giving another priority because without you know teamwork cannot be so employees view themselves as a member of the community and the uh, uh, states because when they are in a part of the participation and the, as they work as a uh, team then they the stress is also reduced they are feeling that we are the community and working culture is also so ultimately the success story of the japan are based on this uh, because of the culture they are drastically uh, changed and adopted the, these things managers seek their subordinates approval you see the managers basically they are subordinate approval sometimes what is the decisions uh, seek their approval because it is good or not tell me what is your opinion so that is the way the ideas they are taking it's not a manager is giving instruction or something steady you follow this no they are sometimes seeking the ideas okay you give you ideas or proposals what are the things so then finally it is a, a total uh, consensus they are giving so it is also a part of a good team uh, as a team leader 
Job rotation is another is very important because it leads to employees' flexibility and uh, uh, the prominent feature of the Japanese companies is job rotation policies. So employees do not have the uh, based on their job specifications, but on the comprehensive qualifications, whatever the things they have to and go through an introductory phase. So there are some training, through this training, training program or introductory program they have to develop their teams. And the, the first things they have to socialize the before the initiation of the job trainings. First, they, they should know who is who, who is the what is their responsibility, what is the company's directions, what is the objectives of the, what is the mission of the company, what are the productions, so what are your futures, introductions, so that that is the way slowly first things, the first phase, they socialize the uh, company. Then automatically the, any employee feel uh, as, a, as a, these things as early as possible have to do it because then he should realize okay, it's a good company, just like in my family, everybody are good, very cooperative, helping. If I don't know things, easily I can achieve the things. So he slowly he should feel I am also in the community and it is my home. So that things create and develop the things. So that is one of the very things in the introductory phase, most basically um, uh, in Japan has uh, launched and Japan is doing this thing. Uh, companies, basically the Japanese companies operate in a strict hierarchical system. They are hierarchical and they are good and maintained and the workers are also following, follow the things, employees also, everybody are valued, everybody are different ranking and basically there is a no as such uh, rank is there. Maybe the hierarchy level is there but they are working as systems, as a team between workers and the employees. Basically, there is no rank as such. But in that area, they are for discussions. Managers sometimes, they also can participate in the work in the, within the worker levels. If the particular worker are not able to do this, manager can come and handle the things. Because once upon a time, once upon a time he has also trained up about these things. So, this is the way they are developed uh, their, their, their workers. Open plan offices accommodations uh, accommodate, accommodate upper level managers and lower level managers under the one roof there. Even I can uh, quote some of the thing in this case because the Japan and the canteen, uh, what I studied and something, they are having canteen, there is no officers canteen, worker canteens, top management canteens, not like that. This is a hall type or oh, a canteen uh, facility, even in the table, chairs, furniture, whatever the uh, utilities are there, environment is there. So, common for all. And they are coming and sit there and take their foods in the canteens. In the within the table, you don't know who is manager, who is worker, who is provider. They are sitting in the same uh, table and the chairs and they are eating their uh, foods like this. So it is a very good, good culture. There is no separate canteens or uh, stadium or coffee house like this. They, one uh, canteen is there and there all people, all the staffs, all levels, hierarchy levels are coming and enjoy the food like this. And during the, uh, uh, during the, they can have a chit chat or they can discuss something, just like you home. And father, mother, children, everybody are in the dinner time, they are meeting, and they are discussing something. Same thing in environment in the lunch time. Uh, people are, all the people are coming and they are discussing, they are eating the job food also. And same food, there is no uh, categories. Okay, for officer grade, another type of food, workers, there are no. That is common for some things. So this goes against the. Uh, uh, yeah, Okay, I think uh, now I have to see uh, coming to the uh, United States. Now, Japan part is over that we have seen uh, their cultures and their way of systems, their packages, all their things are positive points. That all this point has to be noted. Now, the United, the United States is often viewed as a melting spot in the time of the ethnic diversity because their culture is also the different people, different populations are there, 
included people of diverse backgrounds. Maybe they are black, maybe they are Africans, um, Mexicans, in the USA. Different peoples are migrated and slowly. So their countries, um, you can say, their background is such that they are the resilient to move. The most prominent national cultural feature is Hinduism. They are Hinduism, so basically, ethical groups, they are do their own way. They have to feel uh, uh, this is the way the American cultures. So, Americans are independent, ambitious, and profoundly individualistic. So, uh, that's, that is the major point in their cultural features. The value they are, they value the freedom and accept the people can shape their control and the way. People are, company are not responsible for this. Many are not necessary. You have to go and you have to decide your futures and uh, you, shape, you control yourself. Whatever your fee, you have to decide. It. If you want to change your jobs, okay, no problems. So there is no bindings basically. The focus on personal and the financial success. Basically, there are cultures like this. They are personal and the financial success. They are their motto. Now, Hinduism influences and inspires the ethics of the American management and personal management. So that is one of the positive points. Diligence and the long working hours. They are very hardworking people and determined. They are finished. and this is a required because individual. Uh, employees decision making, their motivations, outstanding the self image, and then the initiatives, promotions, and high income as a reward are highlighted. A positive personal employee achievements. So all these parts are uh, cultural part. Uh, we have noticed in the US, uh, in United States. The focus on the personal freedom, as I say, yeah, personal freedom and success means the individuals are free to pursue careers. That's it and say they can free to pursue their careers and change jobs. No um, uh, to achieve the success. So company are now binding like this. Even company also think if in future manpower is not uh, not required, they can always give you some uh, data also. Do you search your jobs? You can uh, no need to. So that, that is also there. So organizations can hire, that's why it is written, the organizations can hire and fire the people according to their needs or to market conditions. Because the market conditions, the uh, order is less, project, there is no sufficient projects. So they are reluctant to keep the people uh, long times, maybe hardly two, three months. They have to give us a notice also. Then they can fire results. All the performance is not at par with the, the competency level is not there. Or consecutively it is failure. So definitely they have to fire these persons and you can search the job for other jobs. And uh, in organizations like the uh, participatory management, bosses and the player are very friendly because everybody are same line of growth everybody are in the focus on the uh, their growth only and the supply are willing to questions and anytime you can question it answer will come so there is no bossing as such and no fear resistance you can assist uh, you can ask the questions this is a, a good culture for a organization point of view one of the most prominent features of the american culture is Anti-trade unions because basically the trade unions are almost negligible. They are not no there. So it, that's why um, it's not very effect in the American culture by the trade unions. The most workers and employees perform their jobs in the non-union sectors. So most of the cases they don't have any uh, union spot. They have to. So employer power uh, is relatively high. In that case, the employer can do anything. Their power is really high because no trade unions, nobody can uh, defending or nobody can challenge 
the things, what they are doing, they do. How are the companies' norms and policies are good uh, as part of the world class systems? Still, they can take their decisions. Nobody will object to things. So, in the political economy scenario, uh, it is relatively high. They can any political the pressure can be great from employer side. Employee cannot because there is no uh, union as such. So management uh, preferentially uh, prefers more of the dealing with the employees in through human resource management practices, uh, not training. So there, a lot of the uh, preferences are management has decided and deal with the employees so based on the through the HRM management practices. So this is the practice of HRM and you have to do what has to follow. Because that can uh, very easily can be implemented because there is no as such training and is not there. So again, immediately you can implement it. The roles and the functions are clearly defined and legally enforced on the employees through the business contracts. So during the contracts itself, at the, joint, at the time of joining, it is defining everything. So everything are in a legal process and uh, it will be enforced by in, to the employees. So establishment interactive management systems based on the objectives, is a management uh, by objectives, management by objectives. In view is a prevalent in the American organizations. This drives better performance, increase the company visibility, visibility and the employee engagement with the organizations. Then American organizations have the highest uh, working hours, productivity and employees training cost because they are focused on the work production. Financially, they should be more strong and pay package is also good differently. So, working hours is definitely more than the standard hours. Employees' training is always taken by seriously despite leaving the organizations for a better perspective. They know the employee are there maybe after two years, they may go to the other companies. Still, that feels, uh, that things they are not considering. But until and unless uh, they are in the organizations, training is very important. That part. So employee training is always taken seriously. That's very good. Despite the leaving of the organizations, maybe after six months or one year, that person's maybe he will go, go, go to the other company. No problem. Still, they are investing the uh, money for the training purposes because it is individual decisions. Maybe after getting the training, maybe you will continue to another two years or three years. So that motivations and the training priority are the seriously there because the both way are important: employee development and the organization function. Both are way. This is different because each individual is feel okay. I the company has invested me a lot of money for the training purposes. So in turn, in return, I should also pay or I should work for another two, three years or something. And then unless I will get a very good jobs. So this is the another way, and the some logic is there because psychological um, pressure will be there. Uh, obligations, you can say the obligations, or maybe the uh, after getting the training, uh, that type of job you will not be getting. Maybe so you have to wait for some time. By the time company will benefit as long as you are in the company, your productivity will be increased. You are getting the training, so definitely you have to give it uh, high pay, and you have to work also there. That is the benefit for the business. At least as long as you are in the company, you are performing, you are giving your productions, your effort you are giving, that is the, uh, I can say, the company's 
viewpoint, positivity is best. Because if you consider, suppose I have a company, I know that person will go after one year if I give a good training, no problem. Then it will be wasted. That type of feelings is not good. So that's why it is written. The, the despite serious, because despite of leaving of the organizations for a period of time, maybe, but still the training program is good. A slight deviation from the centrally uh, determined the strategy is accepted, keeping the view of the requirement of the host countries. The local managers also have uh, some autonomy of autonomy to modify the strategy implementation. Here you see. The authority is also given because those who are in the um, uh, implementation stages, they are getting the power. So local managers also um, have the authority. They are also a power to modify the things. It is not centralized. Basically, uh, other way I can say it is decentralized. Now coming to United Kingdoms. United Kingdoms as a Maybe before that, I can say something because the United Kingdom basically the, consists of uh, four countries, small four countries. Altogether, we can say United Kingdom, UK, or Great Britain. That is Scotland, England, Wales, and Northern Ireland from the all other United Kingdom. Otherwise, if we say the London, uh, England, capital is your London. Similarly, in Scotland, the different uh, uh, capital is there. Well, is there are several separate uh, capital is there. Not that they all are single single countries are there. Now, when you are talking about the uh, together, all all the four countries were as you see, you see United Kingdom. So, definitely the culture, uh, we are basically focus on the culture of the uh, four countries or we can see all together, we can see the United Kingdoms. The Englishmen are very individualistic. And the history is there as much emphasized to keep on the value of the freedom and the liberty. But at the same time, there are much considerations for the community and group actions is also a part of their culture uh, in print. The fight uh, realistically by the unions is for better wages and working conditions. In the Britain, in the UK, United Kingdom, definitely their union is theirs and they are fighting on the basis for the better wages. The employee and employee relationship is purely contractual. Here actually the, you have to point it out, it totally contractual. And the employees do not expect managers to take care. This mind the sentence is do not expect the managers to take care of them and solve their problems. So contractually it is very strictly written. So employees see this as an invasion of the privacy. Maybe. So management and the employees have an impersonal, tax oriented, and relationship. So employees are considered career oriented and switch to another company in search for a better prospects. So the company where this type of thing, so most of the cases in the UK are changing their jobs, most of the cases. Maybe two years, three years, contractually are they are two years or three years, then after that the uh, re-agreement uh, re will be there if the, they feel okay, that person. Otherwise, they can terminate the contractual part and you can go on. So, in comparison to American culture, employee training is not taken seriously. So, what is the basic difference from the US and the UK? Here we are seeing, here we are observing the training is not a, a matter. The companies uh, where the in American culture training is very important. So, employee training is not taken seriously. Thus, the workforce has lower productivity rates in comparison to Americans. Even though UK are ranking uh, as per the trial, as we seen, there are 89 
1991 score scorecard is your American and uh, UK is also second uh, and Japan is the third position 36 something as we said in the earlier slides but still uh, the workforce has the lower productivity and com comparison to America right? compared to America they are in the world. The study is uh, published uh, in 1980 again. It is found that the UK scored lower uh, on the power to divide by uh, divide than other countries. Other basically again the other countries means developed countries. So they are different from their superiors inside and outside of the workplace. So people are more about their liberty than equal. So they are always on the liberty, equality are not important. Otherwise, the vice versa. If you see the condition of the America, they are different. So power inequality is prevalent in the class consciousness in the case of UK. The power inequality uh, uh, it is observed based on the individual's family background. Because, because uh, still there are some royal families and their education they are considering them as a, so their culture is still there. Originally, original organizational hierarchy uh, is observed based on the uh, disc uh, your discriminatory treatment. Some discrimination is there so with the um, manual uh, workers, low level class forming one group. And the managers and the senior staff, they are following another group. That type of grouping are exist. And managers and the like and white color employees, those are in the corporate levels, and the managers are different, they have a different level of categories and the treatment in other, other and given differential treatment because they are in the uh, white color jobs in corporate level uh, jobs, highly qualified highly paid, highly knowledgeable, so they are uh, treating me as a different way. Uh, as better power, pay also good, working conditions also good for them. But at the same time, the manuals of this year, the workers, manual levels, those are blue color employees, basically those who are, who are considering as a law levels, workers, peons, or the, the helpers, some categories are we are considering as a uh, blue color. Even sometimes the company is giving a also dresses also dress from the dress but also you can identify those both the workers are blue color, both the company uh, employees are the white color. So based on the dresses also you can identify. Things. So they are treated poorly. Basically, they are treated poor, poorly due to. Uh, due to dual therapy, because both the cases they are considering is a different uh, way they are dealing. So, white and blue colors employees have a dual style environment. Now, coming to Turkey. So, Turkey is one of the biggest business partners. It is a part of the Western Europe's not exactly southwestern Europe's touching and the Asian, uh, uh, some of the Asian parts also. The in between Turkey is there. It's very location wise, uh, very strategic locations from the trade point of view. Because Asia and uh, your Europe trading uh, launch, you can say, uh, Turkey is there. In between. And abandoned, they have abandoned raw materials. Um, original from the uh, different mines and road, part of road. So that's why they easily attack us. It's situated within the uh, Middle, uh, Middle East also, Europe and Asia. Oh, I forgot to tell you the Middle East also. They are touching uh, in between because the uh, Turkey is one side is your, uh, your uh, Middle East, upper side is your USA, your, uh, Europe countries, and and other side you know, uh, from the uh, eastern side, basically eastern west side, you know, uh, Europe and uh, Asia countries. So that is the in between. You know, so it is a gateway. 
It is a, basically the gateway connecting the three ge geological, uh, geographical regions. So trade point of view, that is very really important. So government introductions of the pro-market economic policies and the opening of the doors for liberalizations for foreign uh, direct investment as uh, Turkey's economic growth. So Turkey is growing and um, other countries are also investing because the location, geological, uh, geographical locations because of that. Because from the trade point of view are there and the things are encashing uh, the Turkey's uh, management, Turkey's uh, rulers, they are uh, taking this opportunity because their location is uh, very good. That's why the most of the foreign uh, direct investors are they are receiving also a lot of projects. Yes. Turkey is also a developing country. So the modern republic of the Turkey is based on the legal. Now we are coming to to say the culture of the Turkey. So it's based on the legal, political, and social reforms. So the modern, earlier it was a little different. Now there are now changes. A lot of policies are changes um, because of the uh, and this, uh, social reforms. Despite is high diversity because there are a lot of diversities there. Turkey is characterized by the nationalisms and civilisms because, as we know. There's a Muslim, uh, Muslim countries because uh, 1997 to 98% are Muslims. And most of the uh, Sunnis, uh, Sunni and Shia, uh, that Muslims are there, they are dominant Muslims. So now it is a transforming into a secular Western uh, style state because, uh, because of the one part is a uh, Western side because of the Europe touching and the Asia, like this is their culture. Uh, transforming are also uh, like this. The culture is a blend. Basically, that's why it is a blending uh, blend as it is a conservative and traditional. Some traditional things are there, and the conservatives are there, especially in the rural areas and the group of the lower uh, your society socioeconomic status. Rural areas still they are in a traditional and they are. Most of the cases, the conservative also they don't want to change their philosophy or what are the style of these things. So that thing is a, it is a that's it is a mixed culture you can say or blending of both. Turkey's social and the organizational structures due to its uh, geographic locations, hence the mixture of uh, Western and the Eastern values. That's why because the or everything are because people are migrating or trading purposes, way style of things. Because it is uh, influence are coming from the both side, from the Europe side, from the Asian side. So they are uh, that's the value. They are uh, it is a mixture. And nevertheless, uh, as you know, the general uh, your uh, collectivities and the individualities tendencies remain to the to this day as same thing because. And uh, due to the enormous power disparity, there is a uh, disparity in equality uh, between the superiors and the subordinates. It is there. It is most common in decision making and the uh, individual conditions. So disparity is there. Authorization, my authorizations and leaderships also complicate complicates. Dialogue between management and the employees, and this organization includes highly uh, centralized decision making. Still, because the centralized decisions are still there, highly personalized and the strong relationships and the partial delegation of powers or duties. Very partial delegation. That most of the decisions making process they are centralized. Now, Turkey is another part is the Turkish managers are not very socially friendly. Here, we just observe from the Japan, the USA, then we are talking United Kingdom. Now, we are talking that everywhere the cultural are you can observe by this session and discussions. 
is a changing, lot of, not in the same patterns, changes. So that is the idea to know the cultural diversity. The subject is the, the this image are saying, the, you see how it is different. Maybe do some location course, location matters, or by the virtue of the, the passage of time as ruled by the other other countries. So, so a lot of factors are also there, but still, as on date, what is the culture? Why you should study all these things are really required as a uh, because the international HRing purposes and business purposes, we should know the other countries' cultures. So we have to have a knowledge about the culture of the other countries. So that is the purpose to know all these things. And it is as per the syllabus, uh, it is already there. So they are highly, um, they have a high level of the tolerance and are very empathic. That is one of the good things. They are, tolerance level is good and very empathic because uh, can help the things and uh, so that uh, by the bound of uh, the traditional method because they are traditional methods because they are it is effect their uh, react then in their minds they prefer an intuitive approach to decision making and pay attention in uh, to details because that is there by the nature, by different, by different their natures are like this. They are giving more attention in details. They do not like to change jobs often because frequently they are not in a fickle mind. They cannot change the jobs very easily because they don't take risks or don't see their jobs as an enemy because they are, they are that's why they are trying to continue in the same jobs. The reasons are already give they are not good to good at controlling their emotions because another thing they cannot control their emotions also. that is also they are it has found out by the another point in the case now we coming to middle east middle east we are saying the arab and the middle east basically when we are talking about the uh, middle east means arab arab countries you can say the middle east includes which, which are the, just like a United Kingdom, Kingdom. So here is also Middle East, uh, basically includes the Cyprus, Turkey, Israel, Egypt, Iran, and Oman. They are considering as a, uh, as a uh, you know, UAE also part of this Middle East also. UAE, uh, where Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and uh, Oman, Oman is also. Oman is different. So there are. This is the way. The majority of the countries in the Middle East are Arab uh, ethnicity and the followers the Islams. Traditionally, uh, the things are there and they are basically the Islamic countries. Middle uh, Easterners are profoundly collective, collectivists with a solid feeling of the full, uh, faithfulness to their image. In one specific participation goes past, grows from the family and uh, incorporates more distinct family, family members and their companions. They are still staying together and they support to the, uh, their customs like the, the interview, the opinionness to the seniors, the delegated to and eye to eye contact communications because they prefer disciplines. You are listening or not. So I try contact their preferring the things. So that is another aspect we are observing from the Middle East. Now organizations of a particular uh, interaction that the seniors regard is, a, is imbued in the Islamic traditions, which are just the devotion to the work, collaborations, and amicabilities. Faithfulness to the gathering has brought about a low capacity to bear the groundbreaking thoughts and difficulties. Now, talking about the advancement, advancement and the pay depend on devotion to chips instead of occupation executions. Another thing we know as a win-win because they are the culture is this majlis that is still there. They are holding that 
uh, things. You know, at the counseling, the meeting, traditional meetings, the carry over the organizations in that level. Managers and the workers are different levels, get uh, together and convey uh, through the private contact discussions and the systems administrations. Written letters and memos are basically they are avoiding the letters and the mem mem eh, memos, notifications, circulars, they are trying to avoid. Better they can discuss uh, together uh, in the, uh, through this majlis or things, traditional things they are still holding. The extensive use of the expert, now here the point is still as of day, most of the they are having the people, this is called the expertise in the main features. This is the main features of this. Arab countries, the recruitment process, they are all the expertise, those who are expert on few things. So that's all. most of the higher level expertise are recruited uh, from developed countries. They are com coming from the UK, from the uh, from Italy, from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Philippines. Lot of people are working there. And they have hired the people, basically the low low level jobs, low uh, low level jobs, basically the your know, car driving, cooking, made different maids, workers, tanner, fitter, carpenter. So this is the way. So all these things are there. Most of the countries are there from India, Pakistan, Malaysia, and the Philippines, like this. And other Arab and other Arab countries, those who are not uh, at par with the very not very rich. So this is the because this is because of the nationals are uh, not ready to find these. Uh, manual jobs because the nationals, those who are there, they are reluctant to do uh, their uh, this type of jobs. That's why some crisis is always there in the world. Jobs. And there are uh, widespread wealth disparity and working conditions for top level and the lower level position because that disparity is there. Expertise are and the higher levels they are getting well paid. And even the provide the tax exemptions are there, comfortable accommodation they are providing with the families, maybe the children as well, all the facilities they are provided by the employer. In the case, those who are high level uh, expertise are coming. But in the low level case, they are not giving that much. However, the arrangement uh, are present moment and no work experience. But yet another thing is, even apart from all these facilities. But uh, job experience is not this. No security or the, or the arrangement of the restrictions. That part is not this. If your service is gone, you have to return back to the you know, your parent companies. You can't stay there. So low level expertise are paid very low. And the accommodation conditions are uh, also wrong. Then the working conditions are very harsh and the comparisons of the locals. So that is likewise the extensive opposition of operations of the women and the home ground and the expertise also. So unions are allowed but are formed by a single ruling party controlled by the government. This is allowed, but only the ruling party government union are to so no severe labor movement has been observed. So uh, that's why there is no labor movement or any trade unions movement is at place. Whatever the, they have decided, organizations point of management, everybody has to follow these things. So they also have a very non-professional attitude towards the business because they don't um, uh, tendering in the tendering process also. Yeah. Most of the cases are nepotisms because they are family members are in the top level, they are putting no other countries, they are not allowed the, the financial matters and other things, the companies, they are putting their own persons and there is an intense social cultural pressure is there. So it is also during the during the recruitment process. So even some, sometimes with the advertisement 
can see the abroad that the region on uh, local uh, nationals are required. Only national can apply these things. No other countries can apply this. So this is the way some uh, matters are there. The managers uh, prefer individual consultations and uh, the subordinates associates also view the business. However, they expect to be part of the consultations, but not a final decisions. Final decisions normally they are not. But this is the way some bindings are there, which are not may not be acceptable. But anyhow, so here actually I was just highlighting the some of the cultural differences from the different countries. Now coming to the India. Here actually we know it is a uh, multicultural society uh, like US. Because India is also like US. There are so many different numerous uh, religions are there, customs changing, and even district to district the languages also change from uh, local lo different locations. But at the same time, there are specific characteristics, some of the specific characteristics are there all people commonly share because emotional uh, ex uh, your expressiveness hospitality and the friendliness and the standard features observed across the cultural spectrum so that is the beauty of our country they have um, some of the things are very common in every aspect so uh, collectivism and shared by the most people and is also identified the uh, working environment the people are community concerns we are very much conscious of the community and community association incorporates close family, uh, more distant uh, your family, direct relatives, companies, caste and religion groups that is observed. And group orientation is not uh, observed in the workplace physically. Individuals draw power based on the caste hierarchy. Power and the privilege have added to the immense power distance. People are not uh, class contingents. However, our caste and the sub constant uh, caste, sub caste consciousness there. Organizations are hierarchical with the your, uh, local decisions making process, and practically the zero power is given to the lower rank because lower rank has no power the management style is authorizations or the characteristics basically the decision making process are taken by the top managements so here is also some distinction between the white color and the uh, and the blue colors as of there due to this there is a much separations in power and the working conditions also in circumstances. Even though authority uh, commands the respect, people with management or the control both are unchanged. So the, all the uh, Indian features and uh, being a democracy, you know, a democracy based country, individuals uh, uh, participate in a high degree of opportunity of uh, articulations and not uh, um, not hold back to voice or scrutinize their perspectives. In the organization, steadiness as a means of the representing the uh, countervailing power of the management. What are the management saying? They have to counter it. Steadiness are not crap uh, based on the however uh, plan, or we can say that the national associations that run the locally in each state, their exercises center around their individual advantages and the plants and nearby the industries. Arrangements are given to the guarantee under the law of the setting, the working and residue groups, the production lines, and the plants. So, even city and parties uh, exist. Employees take part in the decision making process. Uh, many legislations act under the constitutions. Then that they actually they, they like to work under the bosses and look for the supervisors endorsement, 
before making the independent decision. That is the process uh, given or you can see this is the culture resource. So this is the way the thing now comes to China. China is really more having the human uh, civilizations on the planet because the traditionally they are comment like this way. And the successor are saying, what about the saying, uh, this is the, uh, everybody has to follow. But today, uh, the political reforms are continuing to remain the very tight despite economic condition control are being relaxed. So China is much diverse, diversity due to the various ethnic groups, languages and the religions. But the people share their common characteristics despite the diversity. So values are moral uh, significance, ethics, values are China's are, are characteristics. Personal networking is essential for both corporations and they get things done. So some of the basic things uh, in China, the lack of skill and the willing of the supervisors control employees. Employees stay in uh, organizations because they have a strong relationships with their superiors and uh, they have been the independent trained, uh, trade unions and the trade union leaders also. So this is the way uh, some of the things are given. Then, but the, the fundamental cause of the school systems where the students are pinpointed over the uh, on their way of thinking the managers are making a couple of decisions and not being the considered the accountable and the insecurity of the world and so these are uh, some points from the china point of view cultural what the way they are maintaining so now i have to show you some of the questions but in this, from this image, what are the significant cultural differences between the universalistic society and the religious society? Then how is the US culture different from the Chinese culture? That you have to question become. What is the significant cultural difference between the India and the you have to collect the points from the study material and make your Answer. So, what are the significant differences between the uh, your seven economics in the context of the employee and the management styles? That obviously, are true. So this is the way uh, uh, I think. So, I think. Thank you very much. We have to see in our next sessions uh, in in depth. We have to discuss. So, thank you very much.